guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be testing out some more gel polishes, nail polishes. And this time I'm going to be trying the Gelish Minis that are available at Sally Beauty Supply. I've tried some Sally Hansen ones just from like the drugstore before and I was really unhappy with those. So I decided to try a different system of gel polish and that's what I'm going to be sharing a wear test with you today. So I've gotten gel polish manicures a ton at nail at salons and one thing I like about them is how hard they make your nails and how long the polish actually lasts. Personally I hate painting my nails. That being said I do do it occasionally because I like the way it looks. And of course if I can paint my nails for cheaper at home like why wouldn't I? I do enjoy getting my nails painted at the salon but I can't afford to do that regularly. It's just like not that much of a priority for me personally. Another reason that I don't do it at salons a lot is because I keep my nails super short. That's just the way I like them. That's the way it's always been. If they get too long, it just like irritates me. It makes my teeth hurt. So I always keep super short nails. So like if you had long nails and you experimented with like beautiful designs and stuff, maybe that would make sense. Again, for me, it just, doesn't make sense. I bought the whole system according to like the proper steps because I'm a sucker for that kind of thing and I started with the mini pH bond. This stuff retails for about eight dollars and it's supposed to dehydrate your nails so that the gel sticks better and I don't know if you could just use like alcohol at home. I mean this does have alcohol as the main ingredient but it also has acetates in it so I don't know. If you just use alcohol, let me know down below and then I could just refill this bottle with straight alcohol. Then you're supposed to move on to the foundation which is like a clear base for the nail. And I think this is partly what gives it that nice hardness. This stuff costs like $22 though. It's a crazy expensive. I'm pretty sure the top coat costs a lot of ton, a ton of money as well. So like if you decide to go to a system like this, it kind of is a financial risk because if you want to do it properly, you have to buy the whole system. They did have kits available at Sally that cost about $100 that came with a light, but I already had a lamp, so I didn't want to buy a kit. Um, so I bought everything separately. I've bought a couple different colors. I have this like pinky skin tone color, almost peach, and I have like sparkles. And these colors are Am I Making You Jellish, which is the silver sparkle, and Forever Beauty, which I like. My Sally had a bunch of colors on display and I just tried to pick one that was like most boring skin tone to my skin tone. Although I think I need something a little bit more like neutral or tannish and not so peach. These are all about $12, $13 to buy. <sighs> so expensive. And finally the top it off top coat. And even though it is quite expensive, I do think like if you go to the nail supply, if you go to the nail salon, I think a manicure in my area costs about $40. So if you spend like $120 and you get more than three uses out of it, like you've gotten your money's worth. And I've been using these for quite a while now. I want to say close to a year. And I'm still like using up my original bottles. So that's cool. My light is from Vanity Planet. Cost me about $40 with shipping. It's the Glow Dry LED Nail Dryer, and I only bought it because Susie from Nail Career Education was using it for a while, and it's got a, like a little heart button, and it's pretty cute. So that's my lamp. And you have to use a lamp if you're using the gel polishes to like dry it and cure it. And then to help prep my nails, a company actually sent me some glass nail files. These are from Finestic. The set of three cost about $20 on Amazon and they just asked if they could send me some to feature in a video. So I said, sure, why not? And I do have an Amazon affiliate link, like aside from this that I use for most things that I can find on Amazon. So that'll be linked down below. They sent me three different sizes of nail files, but I'm pretty sure they're all the same like grain of nail file. They just come in like different sizes. So to prep my nails, uh, I've cleaned out under the nails and I've cut them pretty short and now I'm just going to file them quickly just to get them to like a nice shape. And I don't know anything about nails but I know you're supposed to like only go in one direction. When they sent the nail files, they also said if you hold the file 180 over your nail, it can make your nails really shiny. 
Probably not something I would normally do because I don't think that's very good for like the integrity of your nails. But it does seem to make them pretty shiny. Not that it really matters because I'm going to cover them up with nail polish. Let's move on to actually painting our nails. So I'm going to start with the pH bond and it just says use on natural nails as a dehydrator prior to nail service. Next we can move on to the foundation and the foundation says it assures a lasting adhesion of the gelish color to eliminate chipping or peeling from the nail. So you just throw it on and then cure it. It's really thick. Then I'm going to move on to the color and again this is Forever Beauty. And then probably depending on the color, you might want to do another coat, you might not want to. I find this color is a little bit streaky, so I'm just going to go for one more thin layer. Cool, and then just for fun, I'm going to do like a dot of silver in maybe all of my nails, I guess. So I'm just going to take some of this silver polish and put it on some plastic. And then just with a bobby pin, I'm going to dot on some sparkles. And then cure that as normal. And then of course I'm just going to top it off with the top coat, just with one coat of top coat. Cool, and then lastly I'm going to take a cotton pad and some alcohol to remove the stickiness of the top coat. And there's one finished hand, let me quickly do the other hand and I'll be right back. Alright, nails are done, it's very subtle, very me I would say. Sparkle is a little hard to see on camera but you do get like a little some some on your manicure. My edges are never really great around the cuticles when I use this stuff but I'm also not the most patient nail polish person and I don't do things like cap my nails because my nails are too short. I'm just gonna moisturize my cuticles here with some lano lips balm and then I'm gonna wear this stuff for the next however long it takes before it starts to wear down and we'll compare it to the wear test that I did previously of my Sally Hansen stuff and see if this cannot outlast it. So I'm just going to finish moisturizing here and then we can cut to my wear test footage. Here we go. Alright, so I put the nail polish on on August 31st. It is now September 12th, so about 13 days of wear. And technically today, I had six fingers that still had full nail polish on them, but they're just kind of starting to lift a little bit. You can tell like in the shower when you're doing your hair, it kind of gets caught under your hair. And it just becomes really easy for the nail polish to like lift up. This is not the recommended way to take this off. Afterwards, you can just kind of like file up your nails again. Usually I cut mine. I feel like now nah, they're long enough that I could easily get it cut. If I'm doing like a long run of wearing nail polish, I'll usually peel off the ones that are loose and like keep the same color going for an extended period of time. So that generally, maybe in a month, you paint all your nails twice. So I think that's pretty decent, honestly. Do a little bit of oil on the cuticles. Of course, I would recommend that you take the nail polish off to soak the nail and really get it off. 
But, but if I'm going to be completely honest with you, that's the way I do it. Not very good, but it is really clean and easy to do. It definitely is way better than the Sally Hansen kit I tried, which again, you can watch up here. I think the number one thing I like about the Jellish nail is just how thick it makes your nails. So if you're trying to grow them out, they can get a little bit of extra growth. Overall, I'm going to give this nail polish a 4 out of 5. It is quite expensive, but it does last a lot. It's no harder to put on than any other nail polish. You can build up the strength of the nails by maybe doing an additional top coat if that's your jam. And most importantly, it just lasts and lasts. Uh, and it's easy to take off. So yeah, it's a good one. I would recommend it. That's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe down below for more beauty content from me. I do new beauty videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Thanks again to Finistic for sending me these nail files to try. And thank you for watching. A huge thanks to my Patreons for helping me film these videos. If you'd like to help support my channel, check out my Patreon link at the end of the video or just share this video with anybody else who might find it helpful. Aside from that, you guys, I will see you all in my next beauty video. Bye!